Welcome back to First Forecast Mornings. It is a Wednesday, which means we check in with our money expert, <laughs> Jeff Ivory. And Good today's morning. topic, Jeff, we are talking about being prepared for emergencies. And we're not necessarily talking about stocking up on cans and food and bread and water. Well, maybe you could be. I mean, you could be. It, it could be that important. But we're talking money. We are talking money. Well, you know, Simon, one of the things that um, we're looking at right now at, in my firm We've spent some time over the last few years hopefully helping people recover, but now's the time when things feel at least a little bit more stable for those that can. Kind of put your P's and Q's in line and, and get yourself organized financially again. Does this include when you look at what's going on with the stock markets here and abroad? I mean, where do you get the idea that people could probably take the time right now to stabilize what's going on? Well. In, in 2008, the economy went through one of the, the worst downturns we've seen. Real unemployment is arguable. I mean, stated unemployment is 8.1% right now. It's rough out there for a lot of folks still, so I don't want to downplay that. But at the same time, there are people that have seen some improvements in their financial condition. But with Spain and Greece and what's going on in Europe, the potential slowdown in China, the potential slowdown here in the U.S., and what they term the, the fiscal cliff at the end of the year, I think now is a great time for people to take a look, take stock of their inventory, where are they at financially, mm -hmm. and are they safe? Now, this includes for people who are maybe bouncing back, people who um, didn't get affected, but what about people who still might be in, in a little bit of a, of a clawing stage where they're, they're still working their way to get back to where they were? Is it... Is every time good times to think about this? Think about it. Well, you know, even even with people that are in the, the clawing stage, if you will, you you have to take care of business first. Mm -hmm. You know, your, your fundamentals, you laughed earlier about, you know, we're not talking about canned food, but we are talking about being able to feed your family, and mm -hmm. you need to have an emergency fund. It's it's played up when people are in, in hard times. Oh, I wish I'd had the emergency fund. But when they're not, they seem to forget how important that is. Three months if you've got two working spouses, six months minimum if you have one working spouse in cash and available for you to use in case of an emergency. That, that's actually a great rule, I like that. That's yeah, pretty simple. What about other things that you can be prepared for when it comes to emergencies? I know a lot of times a lot of people you know, kind of put away the legal documents, they don't <laughs> think about that yeah. aspect of things. What do you have to say about that? Wills, trusts, powers of attorney, these are not things that are just for wealthy, rich doctors walking around. These are things for everybody. And if you have a family, you really need to consider, do you have the proper trust? Simon, most people don't know this, but if you don't have a trust or a will in place and something happens to you, mm -hmm. your kids can become wards of the state before it's determined where they can go. That's so scary. It is very scary. Very, very scary. Now let's talk about maybe some other things like insurance. Mm. You know, one of the things I notice in my practice all the time is, is that many of the clients that come in, they're not fully insured. It's, a, in many ways, a very inexpensive way to protect yourself for the long term in case something does happen. It, it, it's very good risk management. Nobody likes to pay for insurance, but it's pretty important stuff. All right, thanks so much, Jeff. Jeff You're Ivory welcome. here, um, our money expert every Wednesday. If you missed any portion of this interview, it will be on CBSDetroit.com. Thanks so much, Jeff.